Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reacting to Aretha Franklin's Jump To It album. And let's get into it. The first song is Jump To It, original extended version. Jump, jump, jump to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Girl, I got to go. Yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the reason why. Okay, so my thoughts on the song, I think that it's a great track, a really dynamic way to open up the album. I really, really quite enjoyed it. I feel like the intro runs on a little bit too long. I know that it said that this is the extended version, so there's probably an edit that I can listen to. That's like the only qualm that I have about the song because I don't think that she got in until it was like two minutes. But again, I'm sure that there's an edit that I can listen to in terms of that. But I thought that her vocals are here are delightful. I loved all the riffs and runs that she was hitting. Something that was so amazing shows off her brilliant musicality, of course. I really loved her showing off her lower register, particularly on the song. I thought that it was beautiful to listen to in terms of that. I like the lyrics on here. I could appreciate the sentiment of it as well. I really like the production on here by Luther Vandross. I really like the songwriting on here as well. And I know that he produced his entire album. You just feel his fingerprints all over it in the best way. And I just really appreciate his style and what he was able to bring. A really great record. I feel like it sounds of its time, but in a good way. And I really, really enjoy this as an opener for the album. Now onto track two, Love Me Right. Love me really quickly i love that luther's already on the vocals for this ah something that's so beautiful and one of my favorite singers of all time but we continue what could take the place of you nothing in the whole world i've been a good girl Okay, so my thoughts on the song, like I said, I really liked that Luther was on the background vocals for it and you know, having his little parts. I thought that that was very, very cool. It's giving me a little Stevie Wonder. It might be reminding me of a particular song that I can't think of in this moment in time. If it comes to me, I'll put it on the screen or I'll put it down below, you know, in the comments or whatever. It was kind of giving me Stevie vibes. So, you know, I wanted to have that noted for sure. And of course, you know, she's saying Until You Come Back To Me, which was written by Stevie. So, you know, there's that connection there, of course, I didn't know. And so I really like that aspect about it. I really love the production on here. I thought it was cool with like the bass I thought that, that really popped out in the best way. And it was just a very cool mesmerizing production, which I really like. I thought that her vocals on here sounded great. Again, showing off her musicality, wonderful vocals as we come to know and love from Aretha. Love the song going on here. Everything on the song was great. Probably going to be a standout on the sound for me. And now onto track three, If She Don't Want Your Lovin'.
Okay, so my thoughts on this song. This is definitely my favorite song on this album so far. So ridiculously cool. I love the horns on here. I really feel like they just took the song to the next level. All the instrumentation on here was phenomenal, of course. Her vocals on here were fantastic. I just really love what she was doing on here once again. Shout out to the background singers. I always say appreciation to her background singers in particular because I miss whenever people used to write actual background parts and it just felt like a whole experience instead of, you know, the background parts that a lot of singers do now. Like there was so much thought put into just the background part that it really elevated what the main vocal was doing. Shout out to the background singers of course. I really like the production. I love the songwriting. Everything on the song is top tier. This is probably going to be like one of my favorite Aretha songs of all time. And you know this song was really giving me you know Grease the movie. Like I could definitely picture it on the soundtrack. It just gave that vibe. And just incredible overall. Really loved it. To track four. This is for real. Okay, so my thoughts on this, very soulful overall. As we know, Aretha is the queen of soul, so no surprises there. And so this was something that was so tastefully done. It was something that was so wonderful to listen to. Just gorgeous in terms of the vocals, a straightforward ballad, you know, a vocal performance. A moment to just really show off her chops. And so I loved it. I really appreciated everything about it. I really liked the production. I thought that it suited her vocals as well. I really liked the lyrics. Everything about the song is great to me. And now onto track five, It's Just Your Love.
Okay, so my thoughts on the song, I really enjoyed it, of course. And I really like whenever she sang It's Just Your Love and like the way that she was saying like love multiple times and like the way that it was like mixed was really cool. So I really appreciated that about it. Vocals on here are great. Love the production, love the lyrics. I know that I sound really repetitive in these videos, but a lot of times, you know, I like songs for the same reasons. So I can only think of so many things off the top of my head, but great track. And now onto track six, I want to make it up to you. Okay, so in terms of my thoughts on the song, I really enjoy it. I looked up who the male vocalist is on the song because he's not credited on Spotify. I wanted to know who it was. It says that it's Levi Stubbs. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Levi, love, I, you know, want to make sure I get that right. But I thought that he was a really great addition to the song. I really liked him and Aretha going back and forth, so I thought that was great. Aretha, stunning vocals as always on the track. Really enjoyed it. A really smooth performance overall. I like the production for it as well. I like the lyrics. I saw that she wrote the song, so of course, shout out to Aretha as the songwriter. She doesn't ever get the credit as a songwriter that she deserves unfortunately. And so I feel like this song may run on a little too long. Like I feel like chop off like two minutes of it. I feel like I would probably like it a little bit more. And also the ending, it starts to fade out and then they um cut it off and then they bring the volume back up. So I don't know if that was an editing error. I don't know if they wanted it that way on purpose. I'm not sure if maybe that's just an issue with Spotify. Maybe it's better on Apple Music. I don't know. But that didn't really love that aspect about it. But overall, great song. Really enjoyed it. Now onto track seven, It's Your Thing. <laughs> Okay, so my thoughts on the song, I really loved it. The instrumentation was something that was just like in your face, but in the best way. Very, very dynamic and I just loved it. And it's something that reminds me of an Earth, Wind & Fire song. For the life of me, I cannot remember which song that it is. If you guys are really familiar with Earth, Wind & Fire, please leave it down below in the comments which song that you think it might be, but it's really bothering me that I can't remember what song it is. Very, very cool in terms of instrumentation. I think that's what stood out to me most on the track. I thought that her vocals were cool. I really liked the vocal delivery. That was something that was different, but I really liked that as well. I 
appreciate the lyrics. So great track, didn't overstay its welcome. So I just found out that this is the Isley Brothers cover. So I'm definitely gonna have to listen to the original and see how I like it. But I tend to prefer Aretha's covers more than the original. And a lot of times whenever she covers a song, she completely changes the arrangements. I usually tend to like it more, but on some arrangements, I like the original more. Like whenever she did the Elevator with Me by the Beatles, because it's like this big grand orchestral arrangement that I really would have loved to hear her on with the vocals. And she completely switched it up. So I really would have liked if she would have sticked closer more to the original in terms of that. But usually I do tend to prefer her covers more than the original. So I'll have to check it out. So those who have heard the original version of the song, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And now to the eighth and final song, Just My Daydream. Okay, so my thoughts on the song, I really liked it. Something that was very amazing overall. I just really appreciated all the aspects about it. And this was something that was kind of giving me Janet Jackson a little bit. I am a huge Janet Jackson fan. She's one of my favorite artists of all time, a legend, but it was kind of like giving me those vibes. And you know, I just thought it was really cool overall. And then the way that the tempo switched in that, it was a completely different song, you know, at one point. I really liked whenever songs do that, you know? And so I really liked that part about it. Definitely going to be one of my favorites on this album for sure. The vocals in here were pleasant to listen to, like the instrumentation and production. And I like the lyrics as well. And now on to my favorite songs off of this album based off of my first listen. So I'm definitely going to have, I believe it's If She Don't Want Your Love and I believe I really liked that one. I also really liked Love Me Right. I think I really liked that one. And then for the last one, I'll have Just My Daydream. So these are just my thoughts right now. Of course, as I listen to the album more, my opinions can change. And now to my overall thoughts on this album, another very solid album from Aretha. The vocal performances on here are outstanding, really showing off her brilliant musicality, her lower range, her upper range, just everything that she's able to do you know with the riffs and runs and all that stuff it was just really a treat to listen to thoroughly enjoyed her vocal performances on here as always the queen of soul for a reason as i always say and then of course you have luther vandross's writing and production all over this thing like i said his fingerprints are all over this but in a good way he was so so talented i love him as well i've only listened to his first two albums but i really do like those as well and i'm excited to dive a little bit more deeper into him this year but yeah i think that that was really a great collaboration and i just really like what they brought out of each other i think that they both made each other stronger and so it was absolutely a treat to get to hear you know what he brought out of her on this record so I really liked his involvement in it I think that that was a great decision on the whole and so I really like the songwriting I like the production I like the vocal performances and stuff like I already said basically and yeah this is something that doesn't really overstay its welcome as an album there's only like eight songs on here and I'm okay with that I like every single song on here and this is something that I recommend listening to and I definitely think that is going to be worth your time for sure glad that I finally got to sit down and listen to another Aretha album and I thoroughly thoroughly 
enjoyed this one. And now this is basically supposed to be the part whenever I share, oh, here are the other albums I listened to and here are my thoughts on them. Unfortunately, I have not had the time to listen to the albums that came before this like I would have hoped. And so whenever I do my next video on Aretha, I will share my thoughts on those albums. Plus I will share my thoughts on, you know, some of the albums after this and stuff like that. So yeah, that's kind of like my little portion in terms of that. And as always, please let me know down below in the comments, which album should I listen to next from her and why I always go off of you guys' suggestions who really know Aretha's discography and everything like that. I believe that she has a self-titled album that some people were telling me that I should listen to. Should I listen to something after that? Let me know down below in the comments because I really want a good gauge of what I should listen to next, of course. But yes, let me know what you think. Also, if you wanted to see more videos on Aretha, I will have her on the screen right here to where you guys can go to and that'll take you to all the reactions I've done on her so far. It'll also be the end of this video and link down below in the description, of course. And before I end all this video, I wanted to have a little message to the subscribers. So yeah, it finally feels good to be sitting back down and making another video. And I meant to have another Aretha video out this month but unfortunately it didn't happen and basically I was so busy editing the Mariah Carey deep dive that I did if you haven't checked that out by the way you definitely should I worked super super hard on the video and I'd love to know you guys' honest thoughts on you know the comments of that video and everything but yeah it literally took me weeks to edit that video and put it together and so that was just a lot of work and so basically I literally did not film any videos after I filmed that one at all that's why I was uploading all the Twitter spaces and things like that which I really enjoyed doing and I feel like that was something I was going to start doing anyways because I was really enamored by the idea of like okay what are some videos that I can do that I don't necessarily have to you know be showing my face in them or whatever because sometimes I don't like the way I look or like whatever it is and you know I see other youtubers doing that so I was like you know how can I kind of like kick that off but you know that was something that kind of happened because of the whole situation of the fact that my SD card was literally full of all the footage that I filmed for that video and so yeah I didn't feel comfortable deleting all the footage off my SD card until I edited the video and I put it out and everything and so basically because my SD card was full I couldn't film any videos so I emptied everything off like I was basically just saying also another reason that I was uploading to Twitter spaces is because it was just really easy to do them because you know I would just have a thing where I would record it I would screen record it and I didn't really have to do that much editing to throw it up on the channel and everything so it's just easy to do for the time and everything but I said at the end of you know whenever I upload those in the outro and I also want to say here my channel is not going to turn into me just uploading twitter spaces that I do while I really love having discussions with other people on albums and everything and I think that is something that's cool I also really enjoy making videos on here and so those are kind of things that I was doing you know in between while I was working on that Mariah video that I was just telling you guys about and I will probably still do those in the future it really just depends on feeling I really enjoy having the group discussions and such. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that my channel is not turning into that. I'm sure after I uploaded, what, like four of those videos, I'm sure some of you guys were like, what the heck, like, why aren't you in your videos and da-da-da. Like I said, I was working on that one video, which took me forever. So it was just a lot more time efficient for me to put those up. And I didn't want to not have anything up for you guys in between the time, because I feel like that's just not fair. So I felt like that was a really good compromise to have for the moment. But I'm going to be getting back to, you know, doing more videos where I'm actually in them. And like I said, I will do more of those Twitter Spaces videos, but it's not going to be a situation where this coming out every single week. I will be back in my videos again. I wanted to have that clarification but you guys seem to be liking them so I really appreciate the positive reception and engagement in the comments my last one was the way to Houston one that got over 150 views which I was not expecting at all so thank you guys so much for that but like I said they will be happening in the future for sure just not as frequently so I wanted to have that clarification but thank you guys for sticking through me with that time and I'm happy with how that Mariah video turned out of course I wanted to have that note for you guys of course I might be filming the Paramore reaction after I record this and I'm probably recording another video so probably like three videos today honestly because I'm really just trying to catch up because I got so behind and everything and I still have to do my second channel recap and I still have to do my recap for 2022 and yeah I just have stuff that I know that I'm behind on and so everything wasn't able to you know kind of happen I had more videos that I wanted to do I got caught up working on the one video and that entire situation so I know that there's stuff that I'm like really behind on I haven't forgot about my second channel I know it's been a hot minute since I've uploaded on there I'm gonna do all that stuff it takes me time to catch up on it my power went out so that threw off my schedule as well luckily it's back on and everything so yeah everything has kind of just been really busy for me but I will be getting back to you know making stuff that I know that you guys want to see I'll probably be uploading this video first before the Paramore one because I'm sure that that's what the subscribers would want more and that is something that's very important to me. Let me know what you guys are thinking down below in the comments. What are your favorite songs, memories with the album, any additional facts about the album that I should know? Let me know down below. Let's continue the discussion there. But that's going to be it for my reaction to Aretha Franklin's Jump to an Album. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like down below. It helps me a lot in the YouTube algorithm. I very much appreciate it. You can subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you hit the bell, you get a notification to your phone when I post, you not miss some brand new videos come out. First link down below in the description is going to be my second channel. Definitely check me out on there. I'm also going to have my Twitter. I just did a Twitter space recently whenever we were talking about Janet Jackson's 20YO and Demita Joe albums. And I've probably done a few since the last time I like filmed a video or whatever. So just go on my Twitter and just search like spaces I've spoken in, something like that. And then I link all the ones so you guys can check those out. And you can listen to the ones I posted on there if you want. But they've also been uploaded to the channel, so no worries there. And so I will be speaking in more, but I really had a blast speaking in more of the Twitter spaces. So check those out if you would like. My Instagram, my Spotify, and my TikTok as well. And so on my TikTok, I kind of talk about like 
like trending events. I talk about the Billboard charts. I talk about stuff in the news that I really want to talk about. That kind of like gets delayed. So like the Rolling Stone list and da da da. I will talk about that in my next Unpopular Opinions Music Edition video, which hopefully will be coming this month or maybe next month or something like that. And so if you want to see my thoughts on things that are happening at the moment, you guys can check me out in there. And my whole goal with my TikTok is kind of to give you content that I'm not really giving you on this channel because I wanted to make it exciting. And I'm trying to be more active on there. So you guys can check me out on TikTok if you would like. And then I'm also going to have a link to stream this album if you're interested and links to educate you guys on some situations. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.